Hello and welcome back to Mobius Archives. This is your host, Mobius Rex, and we are playing Feed the Beast. Well, last time we were here, we didn't have these lovely uh, Secura saplings to climb up uh, next to a new house. Uh, so let's just do a tour of what I've done. Uh, I made a little house here, uh, further away from, uh, oops, what I am now calling the workshop. As you see back there, and that's our old workshop. This is our new house. So let's give everybody two. We have a chimney. Don't fall down there and get stuck. Uh, it has a little balcony out here. You can go fishing. Uh, it's just a little, little one bedroom place. Ooh, it got, I swear it got dark all of a sudden. Let me just check. Ah, that's why. Brightness is moody. I don't recover to moody brightness uh, for the prime reason that when we're in caves, you guys won't be able to see what's going on. If you take a look at my inventory, speaking of what's going on, uh, I've gone ahead and got myself some leather. Uh, a whole bunch of leather. As you can see, there's no cows around here right now, uh, suggesting where I got that leather from. And I have myself a few iron tools. Now, last time we were here, I had all copper tools uh, and a whole bunch of cows. Now, the cows I've actually moved down here uh, so that they're far enough away from uh, the workshop that they're not making so much sound I can't hear anything. Plus, I needed some resources. Um, but last time we were here, I had all sorts of copper implements. Uh, and now it's all iron. Well. I died. I died a lot. I tried to gather some resources out of uh, our little underwater area down here. It didn't go so well. And I died. And I wasn't able to recover uh, any of our, of our copper tools. Let me just check. No, none. Zero. Zilch. So that means all those tools were gone. However, I had enough iron to build these tools. Now, last time we were here also, I said, oops, I lost that book. Well, it turns out that if you just pop your materials in a new book, which is from Tinker's Construct, I believe, uh, you get the second, the second uh, book type from that. Uh, and also, if you wanted, let's do this, uh, if you wanted to make uh, this book here, if you had paper and one of these uh blank do i have paper hold on one sec take one of these blank patterns and do i have paper i can make paper i can definitely make paper uh take some paper take some one of these blank patterns and let's just show you here and we can make this first book. So these books uh, you don't lose permanently. Uh, gather some more materials, have some of these stone items kicking about as well. Now, last time I was here uh, is actually in this book. Uh, I was talking about oh, cows. I was talking about uh, getting the moss, where is that, to add a little bit of uh, regeneration to our tools, auto repair to our tools. Now moss, uh, if I bring this up, oops, okay don't do that, and moss, so moss comes from, comes from, oh, crap i also uh, hold on i also updated to version 0 0.6 of uh feed the beast which means it defaults to cheap mode as you saw there now moss there we go uh can be built from uh nine moss stone now you can make moss stone uh, from wheat, cobblestone, and bucket of water. So I have, I have uh, some 31 moss stone. 
And I think this music is really loud. So that gives us three balls of moss, which means we can upgrade our tools. Now I'm going to only upgrade my pickaxe. So that's mossy pickups, my shovel, and my hatchet. Right now. I'll probably go ahead and, and make more moss make more moss later. Uh, to upgrade uh, the Matok, which I'm going to leave behind, and the Longsword. Uh, I'm leaving the Matok behind because uh, because I don't need it right now. I'm not going to be doing any garden. This music is way loud. Okay, that's why. Yeah, so every time you update Feed the Beast, it seems to uh, reset your settings. Don't know why. It might also have been because I had a little bit of trouble uh, updating Feed the Beast. Why did I... Uh, I said I wasn't doing going to do any gardening, and what do I do? I go to gardening. Uh, let's get rid of some stuff I'm not going to use. I'll keep the water bucket on me. Uh, I don't need the cobblestone. Now, last time we were here as well, I said I wanted to make a, an apiary. But uh, one of the problems with making an apiary is that you actually need a carpenter. And a squeezer. So let's just take a look at the carpenter. Lots of bronze. Lots of bronze. Now bronze... Uh, bronze recipe. Recipe? Hello? Recipe. Thank you. Uh, can be made from three copper and one tin. If you saw in this chest here, which has most of my middles, I only have six bronze, two copper, 12 tin and some of these copper ore berries. Not enough to make anything um, with uh, what I have. And if you notice, the cave that used to be here is now buried back here. And I'm going to apologize, but the implication were, were was that the ore berries uh, required darkness to grow. Now I've moved all the ore berries I could find. So we've got some, uh, what are these, silver ore berries? And some aluminum ore berries here. That cow is everywhere. Um, just going to add a couple of torches. It's only for growth, as far as I understand. So we have some copper ore berries, two, and some iron ore berries, three. Those haven't grown. And we've got some mushrooms back here that really aren't. Oh, I didn't realize I had a had anything down there. Uh, that really aren't growing much. However. Uh, if I do come across any more, yeah, hey, that just grew, uh, so much for low light levels. Um, if I do come across any more ore berries, I am going to bring them, uh, did I remove all my torches? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to bring them back here and, uh, grow them with the rest, uh, with the rest of the, the bushes there. Ore berry bushes. All right. Uh, I'm just going to dump these ore berries off here. And sand as well. And barley and seeds and this pattern and everything. So this episode is actually going to be a mining episode. What I want to do is find a cave. Nice cave. Um, because I have steak to eat. Find a nice cave and, uh, go about and try to find some more resources. Now, there's tons of resources in Feed the Beast. Uh, right now I'm aiming for uh, tin and copper, mostly copper, uh, or anything that makes copper. There's various different ways to get copper. Like I said, uh, the ore berries. Like I said, the, uh, the ore berries. Uh, that gets us copper, but there's uh, other ways to get copper, which I really don't know. And I thought that was copper right there. Just optical illusion. Uh, and I'm just hoping to find... A decent uh, deposit that we could turn into a carpenter and a squeezer and all sorts of fun stuff. And that pool wasn't one of them. Uh, so this is the jungle we started in. Uh, doesn't have much. I have found some ore berries uh, kicking around outside. So it's not just underground and uh, in uh, in caves where you find ore berries. I've seen them. Oh, God. I thought that was like 
something that was going to blow up on me. Creeper, yes, that. Um, noises in trees disturb me greatly. Now, I think my tools are repairing. And that is... That's amber. Interesting. Amber. I don't know what to do with amber just yet. I suppose I can look it up. Oh, and that's copper. That's one of the things we're looking for. Copper, copper, copper. Anything else? No, just a single... And some coal. Single copper and some coal. It's getting dark. That's no good. What do we got here? Water. Another funky tree. Uh, B up here. This is a nice area. Oh, as you see, my pick, I think, because every time you see it disappear, it looks like I'm taking it down, like right there. I think that means it's being repaired. Now it's dark, and it's dangerous, and I'm low on food. Uh, I'm also running around like a madman. Just looking for any obvious caves here. Any cave system I'll be happy with. I better pull up my sword. Is that a cave? No, that's just a little bit of nothing. Yeah, I'll be happy with any cave system. There's some monozite. Check our surroundings. Nope. Okay, monozite. Don't have a use for this just yet. It's one of those higher tier ores that you can find everywhere. So by the time you actually use it, um, you, sh you might have a lot of it. Okay. Anywhere I see a creeper, I don't like. All right, it looks like we've got a couple of potential holes down there. Uh, and a potential hole means it's worth investigating even if there are a couple of creepers nearby. I said it. Ooh, this axe chops trees fast. This, doing it like this will actually make it safer to... Uh, yeah. Uh, take down the creeper, or uh, have everybody charge me in the middle of the night. Oh, I'm going up. I can go up a tree. Yes. Trees. You can climb trees, and there's a blue slime there, and there's monsters all around me. Oh, boy. Ah. Uh, hold on. I'm finding this sound quite loud, so I'm just going to knock it down by a third. Or almost a third. Okay, I'm in the tree. What can I do? Well, let's get some light. Light up the situation. Looks like that might be a cave there. And I'm here. I'm here till daybreak. Oh, and it's early night too. So let's see. Uh, kill you. Wow, my sword's doing nothing to this guy. And try not to uh, break the leaves below myself. Here, this might help. Yeah, that's better. Oh, and I missed the skeleton. Oh, I only had one arrow? Damn it. Hmm. Okay. Let the skeleton get under the tree. Ow. Yeah, having armor is going to help. A lot. Especially with this... Absolute horde underneath me. Oh, this is blood. Slimes were apparently climbing up. <laughs> I guess that's one way to uh, kill a zombie. Oh, I missed you. Ah, hitting buttons at random are no good. Ugh. Die. 
And why can't I pick up this? Because it's not really there. Whew. Okay. 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 Can I go up there? No. Uh, so I got some of this gelatinous slime, which I saw. Ooh, spider. Which I saw could be used. Ow. Somewhere. Uh, there wasn't anything down here, right? Where this explosion was? No. Uh, okay. Okay. Trying to keep ourselves not dead. I'm hearing zombies, and I'm seeing creepers. Um, that doesn't actually look like a promising area anymore, since... Yeah, it looks like a dead end there. Ooh. And I'm just trying to avoid all the mobs by just, like, skirting the area. Oh, skeletons. Yeah, I heard it. I heard it. It didn't get me. Yeah, I got them. Got them all. Whoo. Whoo. Whoo hoo hoo. All right. Still searching. Still searching for a cave. Just gonna look down here. Sometimes there's caves under the water. Not this time. How about here? Nothing that I can see. How unlucky. Uh, but armor. It's good. And let's see. Let's go this way. We're just going to go slowly and cautiously. All right. Well, I actually just glanced over at my recording software. And it looks like I'm running out of disk space. So... Uh... I'm just going to see if we see anything here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call the episode here. Oops. Ah. Ah. Dying in a swamp. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mad cow. Mad cow. Um. Okay. Uh, spiders after me. Ooh. Ah. E. Okay. I'm going to call the episode here. Well, I still have time. This is Mobius Rex. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good day. And a wonderful night. Bye-bye. And we're back. Well, I was able to recover some disk space. And so hopefully we'll get a few minutes more recording time done this session. And like I said, we are... Oh, good. It's almost dawn. Uh, maybe I'll just hang out here uh, for a little bit. We are still looking for a cave to go exploring in. Uh, I'm going to approach cautiously because... Oh, that's you. Uh, because we still have mobs all around us. And leather isn't particularly good... <clears throat> isn't particularly good for... Uh, Protecting yourself against a horde of things other than slimes. Lots of slimes out of that guy. And here we go. We're getting some daylight. So we should be starting to see some burning zombies. A pleasant sight if I ever did know one. There's still a slime somewhere near here. Take care of him. And this guy. There we go. 
No more slimes. And burning zombies. Well, let's see. We've got lots of blue slimes. A couple green slimes. Let's take care of this blue slime, even though it is by a creeper. Because I wanted blue slime, and that blue slime did not provide us with blue slime. Just keeping a eye out behind me for any of this creeper's creepery friends. Lots of green slimes over there. But I want either blue slimes, which we're seeing over here. Hey, look. Beehive. Oh, yeah, I must have lost the, um, the scoop, or whatever it's called, when I was, uh, down in that other cave. Am I picking up? No, I haven't been picking up any of these, uh, new blue slime ball thingies. And some here. I don't know how that died. What if they died in sunlight? Maybe the sheep killed. Well, whatever the case. And what are these? Raspberries. Saturating. Not very saturating. What the? Okay. Well, this is food, I guess. But, um... When you can stand on it, I'm like ore berries. But it doesn't do much for you. That's another raspberry bush. So it looks like these are actually growing little nubs on top. So if I take this with me, I should be able to grow some. At this point, I don't know why I would want to. But I'll take it with me. Uh, it doesn't feed me very much, but there might be a recipe. Hey, another different kind of thingy. Beehive. Lots of beehives here. But I have not seen... I'm probably also getting myself very lost. But I haven't seen a cave recently. Huh. That's a bit disturbing. Well, I've been looking for a cave and haven't seen one. Let's go mosey in this direction. I want to end this episode uh, with a cave sighting, at the very least, and see what we can see. Huh. And this tree, I believe, is a rubber tree. Uh, you can see that there. Let's actually investigate this. So you need something called a tree trap. Tree, tr tree trap. So you need something called a tree tap. Tree tap. Really? Nothing. Uh, tree tap. Okay, one more. So it's just some planks. Uh, in that pattern we saw there. That? Yeah. And now, if I hit this node, I get sticky resin. Now, what are the uses for sticky resin? So we could turn it into rubber by smelting. Oh, you could also turn it into a torch. That's cool. And sticky dynamite. And sticky piston. Cool. Let's uh, grab some more of that. If I could find any trees with it. Okay. There you go. I might come back here and grab some saplings. What appears... What did I look at? Oh, 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 I just did a complete 360. That's where I died before. Oh, I've been near here. Died. The last more I died. No, that's where I was before. Uh, during the middle of the night. Everything looks different during the day. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah. So 
So that means really that this swamp ends here. And everything around that way is ocean. Well, that's disappointing. And so I'm just wandering around in circles. Yeah, you hear that? Sounds like... Maybe this way? I'm hearing a skeleton. Yeah. All right. We found a cave. It looks actually pretty deep. Uh, let's go this way. So it turns out you have to dig for caves in this game. This way a bit now. And it comes. Be very careful. Skeletons everywhere. Huh. Don't want to be shot. So I have to be, be pretty careful. Yeah. Or berry bush. Another one up there. So yeah, there's ore berries all around. We're underneath that uh, swamp, and we have a nice ravine. So this is a great place to end an episode, because next episode we'll be exploring this ravine. Thank you very much for watching. This has been Mobius Rex for the Mobius Archives. Have a good day, and a wonderful night. Again!